Fuse, tell them nothing can test me, don't sh- All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. Sorry for that last little explosion, a little too early, pre premature explosionation. Uh, but anyway, I appreciate everybody for coming through um, for another Real Talk Tuesday. Um, I hope everybody uh, enjoy me trying to do a little something different. Like I say, I'm trying it out. Uh, we'll see how it go. And if it is something that people enjoy and gravitate to, then I'll continue to do it. Um, so, of course, as always, it's important to, you know, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And uh, you, let's try to get this uh, show popular. And uh, I keep doing it and people can share and learn a lot of good things and, uh, you know, I'm giving people opportunity to come up and talk and all that. So tonight we're going to talk about spring break. Right now is spring break. A lot of people are in the uh, Florida area going wild. They even declared it a state of emergency. And we have heard in the past that in Miami Beach, people have women have had incidents maybe of being raped or killed or kidnapped and now in overall it's a state of emergency they declare because people are just so rowdy and out of control and is it really still safe to go to places like florida and miami beach daytona beach etc and also is it safe to have multiple partners in today's day and age um, a lot of people still like to sleep around and be with a lot of different partners. And, um, is it really safe <clears throat> considering COVID, all the different strands of COVID also considering that it is still a lot of diseases out in the world. Maybe some people look at it as uh, the chance of getting a serious disease is like equal to winning the the bad luck lottery. Well, even if that is true, you don't want to be a winner and it may be best to at least protect yourself, um, even at the most, maybe from at worst from kids um, with people that you barely know or maybe didn't want to settle down with or other diseases and things. Last week we talked and some people didn't know condoms didn't prevent them from getting herpes. So yes, condoms do uh, not, condoms do not protect you from herpes. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, don't think that because uh, you wore a condom, you now protected from everything. Because that is not the case. I got to set up the hashtag J Moore Reviews. I almost forgot last time. Right now, we got eight entries in the game right now. I appreciate it. Um, I see we got somebody in here uh, saying some stuff that is not necessary. Hold on. All right, um, let me get to a couple of the comments. Ill Woods, what's good? First in the building, I appreciate you for coming through. Um, we got big, big Ron, big lover Ron is in the building, ready to get that lover, lover relationship advice. <laughs> Brillo, what up, though, man? Good to see you, Damian Kenny, at the hashtag J Moore Reviews. I appreciate it. Uh, Gina, what's up, Gina? How you doing? Karen, hey, Karen, how you doing? Uh, Miss Crafty, what's up? What's up? How y'all doing? Crystal, hey, what's up? How y'all? Everybody doing? Brother Ray, what's good? Uh, Brillo, nothing is safe, but that is playing Russian roulette. You ain't lying. Russian roulette with your, with your schwantz. You may not want to do that, man. You, you come up short. 
And uh, you don't want to come up short where it count most uh, for most men. <laughs> um, Marley B., I think that they got the people comfortable to ease up and the mask off to hit a new strain of COVID. I, you may, I was thinking that. Um, I don't know if I was thinking the exact thing of maybe it was a conspiracy, but I was thinking that with people easing up, <clears throat> and mask off and then trying to go back to normal without everything really being cleared up probably contributed to or helped create these new strains that keep popping up um, because people are not wearing masks everywhere I go. I, I barely see people wearing a mask, hardly ever. And that is just crazy to me. Um, people... Uh, they just gave up and said, I'm tired of it. If I die, I die. Oh, well. And uh, I don't know about that. Jay Sean, you didn't know about the the herpes, man? Yeah, man. I'm glad I said that again, then, if you didn't know that. Yeah, you definitely can catch herpes without a condom. I mean, with or without a condom. Condom don't protect you from herpes. Damien Kenny, wherever you go on vacation, you should stay in a group of and communicate with trusted friends. That's true, especially ladies, but guys too. What's up, Barika? How you doing? All right. Brillo, I'm the only one wearing a mask too, Jay. I know, right? Um, everywhere I go, I still wear a mask. My son still wears a mask. And... I just do not know how people just gave up and got tired of wearing a mask to the point where they just said, forget it. I'm going to just gamble with my life. And I mean, you don't know how your body may react if you catch COVID. And even if you beat it, who likes to be sick? Me, myself, I hate being sick, even with the flu, which the flu did used to kill people at one point in time. But you know, you still can die from the flu. People just get so used to using Theraflu and all that stuff or tough it out that they don't realize people still die from the flu. Um, Gina say, I'm starting to see a lot of folks with no mask as well. I still wear mine. I know that's right. Definitely. Um, I ain't got time to play. I just don't like being sick or laid up or any of that. Sweating, hot, can't eat. All kind of stuff. So definitely need to eat. Get my eat on. <laughs> anyway, Damien Kenny says safe sack equal condoms and an N95 mask. I know, right? Ain't nothing touching. You wrap yourself in saran wrap like in a booty call. Straight up. No, nah, I can't get down with that. Chris P. Hey, with all this COVID-19 infection. Is anyone still catching HIV and AIDS? Heck yeah, I'm sure. Now, I was talking with somebody just recently, and they made it seem like you can't catch HIV or AIDS anymore because people that have it are taking so much medicine and things, and he said you can't catch it from a woman. And I was just looking at him. I didn't even want to get into that debate because how else are you catching it? He said you only catch it if you're doing things anally, and not vaginally, which is not true. You can catch HIV or AIDS if you have unprotected sex vaginally. Now, we do have some ladies in here that are nurses. Uh, am I wrong? And is he right? Or is it something that I'm missing? Because from the information that I've heard and and known most of my time is that as long as you have a bodily transmission, bodily fluid transmission unprotected, you can catch HIV or AIDS. Yeah, he says the people that have it taking medicine, well, how do they have it if you can't catch it? They caught it, and he's saying the only way they caught it is because they were doing things anally where it was blood involved. Um so I'm not sure. I, I think you can, and it's a higher risk if blood is involved. But people do catch it the normal way. You can catch it doing missionary. 
Ill Woods, my mask ain't coming off this year, bro. It's too risky. I know that's right. Chris P, I still wear my mask. I finally got vaxxed, but I'm leery about being boosted. Yeah, I'm leery myself. And uh, it's about time. I'm like two months. You're supposed to get boosted if it's what? Five months or six months. And I'm at like seven or eight months since I got the vax. My second shot. Also, I did get my... Rojas get the product cup, boy. This baby is looking nice and clean. I gotta drink my Irish coffee in here. If you ain't got you one, you might wanna go ahead and win one if I'm giving one away. Or you can, uh, possibly order one yourself it's the best way but uh you know you definitely can uh do that and it will be one available for you um i'm trying to see uh big ron send me that picture on discord big ron did just get a, a cup and he sent me a picture so I'm going to share that picture of a happy Rojas family member. Uh, what's up, Savannah? Malika Sandy, many people undiagnosed with high viral load. See? So that means that they do have a lot of the virus active in their body and they don't know it which means they are not on medication and that they can transfer to you. Is that right, Malika? You see what I'm saying? I'm going to let it be known, Christy. Hopefully save some lives. Savannah, I need my mask to cover my ugly face. Michael Jackson always wore a mask back in the day. Yeah, Mike had to cover up that nose so it didn't fall off. Is that some ripple? You dang all right. Just like Fred G. Sanford. Chris P. said, Malika, does undetectable necessarily mean untransmissible to the sex partner? <clears throat> Good question. And Malika, if you want to come up and talk about it, I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the comments. And I uh, would appreciate it. Christy said, it's the microchip. Read further into this vaccine and think outside the box. Yeah, you didn't got way out the box. There's no microchip in the vaccine. You can actually look when they giving you the vaccine and see it's all fluid. They got liquid microchips, Terminator 2, liquid metal. There's no microchip in there. Barika, HIV is real. Medications help greatly to reduce HIV from turning into AIDS. And that's the difference between Magic Johnson and other people is that he had HIV, <clears throat> which normally turns into AIDS, but because of medications, he's been able to keep it at bay. So, there you go. Um... And Malika said no. So there, that means no, Chris P. You still can catch it. You definitely can catch it. So, um, one of the things that uh, I was talking about tonight about the spring break and everything is that in Miami, Florida, they are declaring it a state of emergency because of people being so rowdy. And I don't know, is that a warning sign when people are rowdy like that? Miami Beach declares a state of emergency at the recent spring break violence. I know when we're young, we all like to be rowdy. Ladies like the bad boy and all of those things. But as we get older... None of us want our kids to date the bad boy or the bad girl. And we may wonder if they are messing with somebody like that. 
if it is the best option for them. Um, it says that they declared the state of emergency um, and a curfew to curb the violence across the city in Miami Beach, which I've been to Miami Beach during spring break, and it was dope, a lot of fun, and man, I miss those days, but I didn't know what we didn't. It says they comes after shootings. We didn't have any shootings that I knew of or experienced. It was like very peaceful when we were there. Five people were wounded. Um, how many of you with kids would allow your child to go and party in Miami Beach right here? Malika, it's nothing to be shy about. You don't even have to show your face if you don't want to. Or Barika, if you could come up and talk since Malika is, is shy. I don't know why you shy. You, you ain't got nothing to be afraid of, but it's okay. Um, but somebody uh, that want to come up that's uh, a nurse or something, um, it would be helpful. Um According to the soul, so Malika, you saying that Chris P is right then? According to the CDC, undetectable is not transmitted to partners. Okay, so undetectable is not transmitted. Okay, <clears throat> Damian Kenny, the rich can afford the super immunity booster drugs that build your T cells. So HIV never turns into AIDS. That's true. Um, he has the money to afford the best treatment uh, available. The, the HIV cocktails commonly sold are watered down immunostabilizers that maintain but do not build your T-cell count. Okay. That's true. That's good information. Savannah, you stay in white like the brat sister. This right here. It's not just white, man. This is the J. Moore Reviews hoodie. I'm wearing my own merch, man. Y'all got to check it out. I buy, and, I buy and wear my own stuff. I'm not a business man. I'm a business man. <laughs> I actually got the hoodie in other colors, too, but this show up the best on camera. So that's why I always wear this one. Damn, this cup really does pop. Got to advertise the Rojas merch. <laughs> All right. Um... You say it wouldn't let you send the pic through the Discord message, so I posted it on the homepage. All right, post it on the homepage again. I appreciate it. Um, Damien Kenny, the HIV cocktails commonly sold are watered down immunostabilizers. Oh, you already said that. See, sometimes you guys, uh, with this show on Tuesday, you guys are lucky it's not as many people right now, so I'm able to get to most comments. Whereas on the other shows where everybody is commenting with a hundred plus people commenting, I'm not able to get to most comments. So I'll probably more than likely get to your comments on Tuesdays right now. So that's one benefit of this right now is that I will probably get to your comments so you don't have to retype and say things multiple times. Um, if you are, Savannah say, if you are undetectable, you cannot pass it on. Okay. Barika says, CDC mentions FDA approved HIV meds that claim to greatly reduce risk of transmission if the person takes meds regularly. Okay. Say, you gonna buy one? All right. Well, like I say, anybody that buy one, definitely send a picture or if you post it on Instagram or on Twitter, hit the ha at J Moore Reviews or uh, hashtag J Moore Reviews and or both actually. That'd be the best way. 
And make sure when you do the at J Moore reviews that you do it this way with the underscore. Because without the underscore, that's not going to go to my main account. I do have the other account, but I only made that so that nobody else take my name. So, what's up, Rashonda? How you doing? Got my gin in the cup. Damn right. Chris P said, so how does a taking HIV meds and getting vaxxed and getting boosted affect one's immune system? I know, right? You got a lot of stuff in you, but you got to keep in mind, we already have, every single one of us, have a bunch of vaccines in us already in order to go to school when we were kids. So the human body of today already has a lot of vaccines in it. And the MMR, measles, mumps, rubella actually works because in America, you don't see people with measles, mumps, and rubella. But in other countries and in faraway places, they still get those. When the last time you saw somebody with the mumps? Man, what's wrong with you? I got them mumps, man. I got them mumps. You don't, you don't see that. So um, we have been fortunate enough to use vaccines to help prevent some of that. Um, but at the same time, people are hesitant about this COVID vaccine. Well, for one, it's not exactly a vaccine. It's like a shot to help boost your immunity. But it's not permanent like vaccines, the measles, mumps, and rubella. We don't take that every six months it was a one hit a quitter and it was developed over a longer period of time whereas this has been developed in a short period of time and all of this is very new and that's why people are more hesitant than others um vaccines out there <laughs> Marika said, at Chris P, absolutely. I don't care what the CDC or drug manufacturers say. I still believe in using protection. Definitely. Definitely got to do that. Chris P, spring breakers going to get their freak on. CDC or no CDC. Right. That's crazy. Marley B, people today have no shame and they don't care about life. The world is a, a wreck and these youngins just want to shoot, kill, drugs, and not afraid of authority is sad. And I can't, I don't like to say this because when I was younger, I didn't believe it. But now that I'm older and seen things, yeah, I do believe it's true that music and media and social media society have an effect on people. All the people talking about YOLO, you only live once, who cares, this, that, and the other, F this, F that. And it created a bunch of people that don't care about anything. So, you know, like Squizzit, I can't wait for my hoodie to ship. Uh, it should have shipped by now. Oh, unless you, I don't know. I don't know when you ordered. If it's when you told me, it should have shipped already. Um, I just got my cup today. And uh, I ordered it about a week ago. And I did order some other stuff and that didn't come yet, but uh your your hoodie should be here you can go on the website and check and see uh i'm pretty sure you did damian kenny charlie sheen has financially covered every person that proved proved he infected them proved i think you meant to say all right barica at damian kenny the genetic ones not the name brand i've seen hiv patients make great strides and improvements says using name brand antiviral meds what's up kelly i i was thinking you was coming tonight you gonna stand me up on on our second date <laughs> it's all good damien kenny at barica can all people afford i guess that's what you meant effort to to name brand hiv meds they should. It's about health, not fashion. Well, 
that's one thing about capitalism. I don't think that we should be able to capitalize on everything, but everybody want to make a profit. And that's definitely not good. Um, people should not put profit over health or security and all kind of other things that capitalism has infected. Um, capitalism, I think, is a great system. And I do believe in capitalism, but it shouldn't be a part of every single aspect of a country. Um, definitely not. Damien and Barika, y'all got a lot of good stuff, man. Y'all supposed to, both of y'all could have came on here. You say, can all people, I already read that. <laughs> Big Ron, they wrap it up because syphilis isn't no joke either. Yeah, I know, right? You definitely don't want that drip. Follow the drip. Barika at Damien Kenny. I've seen low income. Wait a minute. I've seen low income patients on Medicaid get the same meds prescribed as the ones with private insurance. Okay. All right, we got Kelly coming in the building, so let's see what happens with what we got to talk about with that. I still got a couple things left to talk about tonight. Um, what's up, Anaya's GMA? Appreciate you for coming through. Um, Philly is experiencing hundreds of ATF and dirt bike riders swarming the city the streets it's gotten so bad local politicians want the pa state police to assist the philly cops philly is down about 700 cops damn yeah that that location philly with all those rough riders that's because of the uh 12 o'clock boys movie and all kind of that documentary and all kind of stuff um philly got a big atv dirt bike um riding and it's not like what you think with they ride it in the streets doing willies check out 12 o'clock boys damien uh chris p you seen 12 o'clock boys that's a good documentary that little boy that was in the 12 o'clock boys he grown up now i heard he didn't been in and out of jail and all kind of stuff but that 12 o'clock boys is really something to see man that's that's crazy um but yeah it's pretty good Um, Barika say Damien Kenny Planned Parenthood local health departments and infectious disease doctors often provide more affordable yet effective options for HIV treatment okay uh, Chris P they ride their bikes up the art museum steps I know right uh, you never seen 12 o'clock boys Oh, man, I just knew you was going to say you seen that. Definitely got to see 12 O'Clock Boys. I always got to work in a review. 12 O'Clock Boys, I was like, I couldn't stop watching what the hell these dudes be doing out there. Let me see right quick while we, uh, let's see. 12 O'Clock Boys. Came out in 2013. I'll show you what it looked like right quick. Yeah, Meek Mills violated his probation on ATV. All of them out there. That's why they got that. Let's talk about it. This little boy right here. The Wire with Willies. Man, they be on one. The 12 o'clock boys. I didn't even check that I seen that. I'm going to have to get this about an eight for documentaries. 12 o'clock, boys, is fire. Yeah, you got to see that. West Baltimore block. They in Baltimore, not Philly, but same same culture. And this is how they be riding for everybody that's wondering. This is what they be doing on dirt bikes and ATVs all in the city. So, yeah, they be on one. Definitely. So, yeah, the 12 o'clock, boys. Check it out. 
Anaya says she saw it. It was so good. It was good. Yeah. 12 o'clock, boys, is definitely good. What's up, Vic? Well, how you doing, man? Yeah, check it out, man. <clears throat> but we living it right now. Some of the riders even pack guns. Hell yeah, they talk about that in 12 o'clock, boys. One of them got killed in the, in the documentary. One of them got killed. Right now, I got my girl, Trine. What's up, Trine? How you doing? Hey, what up, what up, what up, Jay? Hey, hey, what's up? Good to, good to have you. Um, appreciate it. Good. How you doing? Good to be here, you know. I can't complain. I woke up this morning, so, you know, another day to do the dang thing, you know? <laughs> Definitely. Definitely, yep, yep. So, uh, we was talking about, you know, people still partying and doing stuff on spring break um sleeping around and all this stuff so one of the other things i was going to talk about tonight is is it is it okay i know so i would say is it still okay but i guess it depends on who you are and who you with but is it smart or is it okay to have multiple partners still i got a friend that is bragging even tells his mom that he's got a different girl in his bed damn near every day is that cool is that safe and also i got kelly in the building what's up kelly hey hey hey, hey. hi today how you doing hon i'm good i'm good and yourself i'm good i'm good relaxing that's what's up glad to have y'all both uh <laughs> kelly i was just telling Trinae, and i'm gonna get y'all's opinion is it mm -hmm. okay today or was it ever okay for a person to have multiple partners <clears throat> especially with all the, that's going on i was just saying i got a friend that that talks about having a different lady in his bed almost every other day even tells his mom this uh is that smart is that cool and this isn't a young person uh this is a middle-aged person still doing this um, Trine, what what you think about this? And then I'm going to get to you, Kelly. Maybe I need to put this thing down, Jay. Huh? <laughs> I said, do I need to put this camera down? <laughs> you can put it where, yeah, wherever you feel yeah, comfortable. I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. It's all good. Yeah, yeah well, I was, um, well, is it cool? Like, well, maybe back in the 60s, in the 70s, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe back in them day days, you know, but that's for my time, you know. I, I'm an 80s kid, so, you know, by the 80s rolled out, you know what that was all about, you know what I'm saying? So, people started panicking, and, you know, the HIV and AIDS was, was real prevalent back then, and, you know, but still, that ain't stopped no show. Still, people were still out there having sex unprotected, you know what I'm saying? And, that's what I say. Like now, ever since I moved down here to Atlanta, you know, they really like make it prevalent. Like you got to know your status. You know what I'm saying? Nobody saying can't say that you can't date who you want to date or be who you want to be with. Just be safe about it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I did hear that Atlanta got a lot of people with uh, HIV and AIDS and stuff. That's what I've heard. Yeah, well, you know, they, they really got, like, you know, the LGBTQ community down here, and, you know, they very, like, supportive, and they, you know, they got services and stuff for people that, you know, you know, deal with that kind of stuff, so, you know, it's good to know that they are services out there, and some of them, you don't even have to pay, you know, like, you can get free contraceptives, condoms, all that good stuff, you know, so it's, it's, it's not like it's not out there. It's just that it's up to you to go out there and do your research and, you know, so you can be safe because you don't want to be, you know, having one night of satisfaction and then have to deal with something for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like all because, what, true. she got a fat booty? <laughs> or because she got a fat bank account? Right. So that That's don't true. mean nothing. That is true. Kelly, uh, what's your thoughts on that? What you think? Yeah, it was it was never a cool thing, Jay. It's never going to be a cool thing. Um, being out there like that, reckless, 
that's too much. It's too much. It's your health, safety. You got to, it's just, it's a hot mess, Jay. It's not good. It's not a good idea. Yeah, it seemed like men like to have multiple partners more than women. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. But you know, at the same time, that's how men, men bring the craziness from the multiple partners back home. So, you you know, it's it's a bad situation all across the board. Yeah, I mean, it's never good to to, especially if you with somebody that some men would call their main woman, and then you messing around with other people, and if you catch something and bring it to her, and she was faithful to you, then that definitely mm -hmm. was messed up. Definitely a bad situation. Um, right. BWJ said. It's not cool being a sex addict in this day and time. Is it a such thing as a sex addict? Can a person really be addicted to sex? Yes. Uh, you ever heard of Eric Benet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Eric Benet, yep. Yeah. Is he was just saying that or he was mad he wasn't with who, Holly Berry no more? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, how do you even say that her old mouth like, yo... I cannot deal with him. Like, he just wanted it all the time. I mean... I think Halle Berry is a whole other topic for a whole other night <laughs> because, you know, you got a female that every dude got a problem with, then there's a common denominator. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> who knows what, what happened with that, the whole story. Um but right, yeah. but like Tane was saying, even in, in every city you go to, you have uh, these uh, foundations, this, the city itself that gives away, I mean, free condoms. I, I know guys don't want that. Just protection, period, because it's not it's not cool. Like you, I was listening to you before and you were saying about the spring break. I would not want my son to be there. Mm. And he wanted to go to Miami this year. Mm. I was like, that's a dub. It's not going to work. <laughs> no. Right. He wasn't happy about it, but no. Yeah, see, my son didn't want to necessarily go or bring that up, but I would definitely be worried uh, and not want him to be there with all the stuff going on and COVID and people wilding out. And just so much going on. Um, I mean, at one part of me, want him to still grow up and have those experiences. But another part of me is like, them experiences ain't what they used to be. It ain't as safe and stuff. So um, They show not what they used to be. But right. still, Jay, come on now. Let's keep it real. It was reckless. It was really reckless back then, too. Yeah, it was. But, like, I went to spring break in 2000. Which mm -hmm. doesn't seem like a long time, but I guess that was 22 years ago. <laughs> exactly. It was a very long time ago. And oh stuff was God. reckless back then, too. But we didn't get in shot, yeah. didn't cross my mind, except for by the police. Okay. You're right with that. The violence is what... You probably heard about it when you got back home, that something happened to somebody. No, but I wasn't really reading the news at that age and stuff either, though, like that, so... <laughs> Especially well, not that news. Yeah. Mm -hmm. remember, remember Freak Nick? Freak Nick yeah. in Atlanta was the stuff, man. That stopped in what, 96, 97? Nah, they tried to bring it back in the early 2000s, but they were going for it. Okay. But it originally started like with the college campuses and stuff like that. It's supposed to be something like, you know, all of them coming together and you know, having a good time, like nice, clean fun, but you know, you got them stragglers. Well, Freak what Nick wasn't say? clean. Freak it Nick was wasn't not clean. clean fun, Janae. <laughs> it was no, I mean, not, no, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I, as a woman, I should be able to, like, go to an event and don't have to worry about being assaulted. You know what I'm saying? Or being a. Well, uh, 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 yeah, you know, because I heard a couple incidents that happened down there and it got real rowdy and stuff and the police had to break it up and everything. Listen, you couldn't be out there by yourself as a female. Like, there was no such thing as going to the bathroom by yourself. Mm -hmm. You wasn't going to get a drink by yourself. You had to move in a herd, okay? Because it was it was still really dangerous back then for females, at least. You know what I mean? Yeah, and see, what you're saying... I got another review to work in right quick that just made me think. 
It's called Woodstock 99. It's on HBO Max. And they were, this, man, this was a disaster. And I did not know what they were doing to women, raping women, attacking women. Now, some women would walk around as this. I'm not saying you deserve to be assaulted or anything if you walk around with your shirt off. But women flashing or wearing their shirt off and all that stuff. What it, yeah. yeah. If something was to happen to them, what what would you think on that? Uh, Kelly, what's your thoughts on that? Women flashing and, and wearing none but, you know, dental floss uh, and crowds like that and things. You know, so I'll say it like how I talk to my son, right? Don't fall for the friggin' okie doke, yo. Don't fall for it because I, I don't condone it. But at the same time, it's it, it's two it, it's two connectors right here. The woman should not be that lawless because you're putting yourself in harm's way. At the same time, you as a guy, you gotta look. This woman could end your life right now. Your freedom. Everything is on the line when you see, you know, certain females behaving like that. I mean, I don't care how nice the cocktail is. I don't care how hype I am. I'm not flinging off my shirt. Right. So it's a mentality. So, it, you know, it, it they attract what they want to attract. And sad to say, a lot of these guys fall victim to that. You know what I mean? That's that's a that's horrible. I don't condone that at all. Right. They get and they eat. also be doing that over there in Mardi Gras, you know, getting them beads and stuff, and they sitting there flashing their boobies and all that other kind of stuff, and then you wonder why, you know, incidents like that happen, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, you, that's just like you waving a T-bone steak in front of a hungry dog, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, come these, on, man. These, you got to start thinking logical. Right. These young men got their, uh, you know... Uh, energy and emotions worked up out of control and yeah they still responsible for what they do but mm -hmm. like you say you you waving a piece of meat in front of them and they might lose <laughs> their mind for a second and and hurt both of each other you know the woman and themselves so you yes. know now Trina, you was talking about the lgbt community in in atlanta Anaya's GMA said it's a lot of dudes still down low living a lie. What do you all think about people that are living on the down low? And Barika said that that is big facts and that down low men live double lives and seldom use condoms. I've seen so many cases of all men bringing things back to their pregnant wives. It's sad. And Barika is a nurse for those that's wondering how she's seen these cases. Uh, so, uh, what do you think about people that are doing that? Oh, yeah, well, that's not cool at all. Like, you know, you sitting there, like, not only jeopardizing, you know, the woman that you laying up, coming back home to, but, you know, God knows who the other people that they're sleeping with, you're jeopardizing them. And, like, you know, if, if you want to, like, be gay, then be gay. You know, don't, like, straddle the fence because you're afraid of how people may perceive you or, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you if you want to do that, then do that. You know what I'm saying? But don't drag me, in, you know, along for it. So that's not right. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Kelly, what you think about people that are living that situation, um... What what's your thoughts on that? Yet another thing I don't condone, Jay. Yet another thing I do not condone. I mean, at this point, it, it's sad that uh, you know men are living these down low lives because I think we're at a stage now where you you can really be who you want to be, but that's in society. You know, of course, we don't know what's going on at home. Like my mm. sister's a social worker. And her stories are horrific about how they are still treated. And I'll bring up this, this situation that happened, remember, in um, Raising Canaan, when the jukebox had that situation with her dad? That still happens. We had, we had a talk that night. And it was, it was like, it still happens today. So I understand that. But the reckless behavior and you endangering the health and the lives of your family, your loved ones, 
that's that's irresponsible it's, it's unacceptable it's it to me it's horrible like i don't condone that at all mm. and it's just sad that you know people are victims of this situation because the innocent wife like marika said in the chat like you, you know you a pregnant wife and this is what you have to deal with because this is what's going on with your husband like he don't have no consideration for his home all right fine you outside doing the craziness right but why are you bringing it home right Right, and, and this is what I wanted to add too. Like, I'm gonna give you the perfect movie about like men living on the DL and they got wives and all that other kind of stuff. It's this movie that came out in 2007, and it got Vivica A. Fox, and it got that guy Leon in it, and it's called Cover. Never, okay. I've never I've heard, heard of that before, one. But y'all need to see this movie. Like, if y'all really want to know how these DL men be getting down. Let me tell you, like, all the, it's like a signal they do talking about, oh, you got something in your eye. So <laughs> that's like the pole. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, do you get down like that or not? Now, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, that is so crazy. Right. Like, how they be living these lives like that. Like, they be, like, literally married men, but the women, some of the women know that they live, you know, on the DL, but I guess they supporting them financially or they got some kind of status. So they just deal with it. But right. I don't mind that, Trinae. I don't mind if the woman knows. Right, right. Because right. If they, I mean, see, that, that's a conscious decision as an adult. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah but, yeah, but in the movie, yeah, like one of them knew what was going mm -hmm. on and the other one didn't know. Okay. Yeah, see, me, yeah. myself, I think a person should live in, in whatever their life truth is, period. Yeah, whether mm -hmm. you know you you got health issues or you gay or straight or all the other things a person can be there's a lot of them nowadays i don't know what they keep making up new stuff but all of that <laughs> um you know whatever it is if you're not good with money then be honest with yourself and then learn about it you know what i mean do whatever it is be truthful yeah, some things are more dangerous um, than others, and uh, don't lie. Cause, and if your family doesn't support you in things, yeah, it could hurt because those are the people that you love most in your life. But being honest with yourself first and living your truth will feel a lot better than trying to please other people and living a lie. And like Kelly said, if you do have somebody there with you, a wife or a husband or whatever that love you, then don't put them in harm's way because you're trying to do something in the dark. Either come out and tell them and give them the option to choose. And if they choose to move on, you have to respect it, just like you want people to respect your choices. Right. And, and at least you can part as friends, then possibly harming somebody by no fault of their own that person could be faithful and not doing anything wrong and end up suffering because of the choices that you made you know mm -hmm. that's like you getting robbed because somebody else not good with their money and they rob you at gunpoint that don't make you feel better <laughs> You know what's so funny? But even uh, just to put a little a little gravy on the side, Jay, even <laughs> if that person is not comfortable or hasn't come out or is afraid for whatever their reason is, why be so careless to put your, your wife or your family member um, at jeopardy? Why? You, you already know you live in a crazy life. You live in a lie, meaning, right? You, you A double life. And then you want to come and put the person at home in danger? Protect yourself at that point. Because you know what? If you out there and you lying, all right, fine. Why be so reckless to bring that stuff home? Definitely. Because everybody's situation is different. So, okay, fine. Maybe they culturally can't come out, you know? Because that's a whole big thing, too. Mm -hmm. Your culture, your heritage. It, it, you, you know, they have a lot of homophobic culture or people still. Even so, the black okay, community is still very homophobic. Of, of course. So why would you then at that point be so careless and reckless that you, you bring in this whatever home to your, your wife, your family? That is what bothers me. Because, all right, fine, you can't come out, no problem. Why are you reckless then? Right. 
Right. And let me ask you all this. I don't know if you all know, and if anybody know in the comments, let me know. But can lesbian women contract HIV if they're not made, involved with a man? Like, can lesbian women? I don't know. I was just wondering. I mean, it's possible. But because you can have blood too. You know, if yeah. you have a cut or whatever, you could still be transmitting blood. You know, when yeah. they get yeah. like, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's possible. And the fluids. Okay, <laughs> that's and a lot know, of fluid. Listening to you, Jay. I know, right? That's a lot of fluid. Uh, maybe it's not as uh as often or happens as often maybe i guess i don't yeah. know because I, I definitely ain't heard about that but they definitely was you know having a good time if they had enough fluid uh to, to do that but it wasn't yeah. that good if you catch something so um it's never good if you catch something right right and i was talking to some people and uh i asked them would they go get tested together and they were saying no um and uh I just don't uh get it. Um but you guys, why what was the follow up? What what's so wrong about getting tested? You know why? The only how that you would have a problem with that is if you're reckless. Right. If you live in the university, that's your only concern. Right. Well they were saying that it depends on how long they've been together. So if we ain't been together but a month, but we still doing something, doing the do then I ain't about to get tested because I really ain't, don't care about you that much like that. I might go get tested on my own, but we may not go together. And then okay. if we are serious and together, mm -hmm. then I would go get tested with you. So, I don't know. I think it's just, I, we need to normalize that. We need to normalize it because why is it still taboo in 2022? Why is it still taboo? Right. Oh, yeah, I mean, no, I I get what they are saying, but uh, you need to have them papers already then or something, you know. <laughs> but I don't know. I guess that is a turn off because some people say if you before you about to do something. Hey, by the way, you got your papers. Uh, <laughs> well, anything, I would be happy. Remember, you had asked me that question, right? And I said what I said, and I was like, if anything, that would be a turn on for me because that let me know that you on top of your business, that right. you care enough about me, that you, you know what I'm saying? If if, if you want to be in a serious relationship with me, then okay, we gonna go ahead and get tested together. I mean, shoot, it don't take that long. They do the swab, where one, two, three, you done. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, that's it's it. I just I'm never gonna understand that. And exactly what you said, Trina. I agree. Like it doesn't take that long, and you you just want to be make sure you healthy. You protect yourself. You know. But I, like I tell my son all the time, you don't see it written on nobody's forehead. You ain't gonna be able to tell what they have. So you just you just can't trust anything. You shouldn't want to trust anything. Right. That's true. That's I don't true. know. That's it's too it's too risky for me. Uh, Anaya said my husband and I did before we got married. Yeah, I respect that. That's what's up. I definitely would have to get tested with you before we get married. That's that's a fact. Right. Um, we that, definitely that, that doing. That should like. Ch -ch -ch, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. That that ain't so even so a bad so conversation. So they, they, that you in some states you have to get tested, but I don't know if they test you for that. But I know they test you to see if you're not related. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what state is this where this is a thing? Arkansas or something? Man, where are they doing Bunch this? At? Bunch <laughs> Bunch you know what I'm saying? In Tennessee, somewhere in the back, right, back Mississippi, West Virginia. We need to do the relative test. Forget the damn everything else. Are you <laughs> sure you're not related? Man, we don't believe you, man. You know, Bubba and Mary Sue said that. And yes, we, you know. <laughs> Yeah, that that was a good one right there. Damn, if that is a thing, damn, where are they at? A damn but town with twenty people. Like, like I mean, come on, that would be devastating. You wind up being with somebody all these years, and then all of a sudden you find out that y'all two are related. Well, yeah, wouldn't that be devastating? Yeah, I mean, I, I have a family member that that actually happened to. 
Wow. <laughs> what? How did yes. how did something like that happen? They were in a small town or something? No, one you know, we from the island, so they um they found out when they went back home. <laughs> oh wow. Dang. Wow. And they met in New York? Yeah. Oh wow. Damn, that's crazy. And did they so did they not, break it's not up? Really that crazy to get that kind of test, you know what I mean? Right. Did they break up? Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. I wouldn't even be able to look at you the same. Yeah, like, man, you saw me. My whole life would be ruined. Like my whole life would be ruined. Like, what did I do? Because <laughs> you know, at that point, you think you love the person. Well, you love them. You do. Ooh. And now, my whole life is ruined. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's that's something, man. I mean, if you never knew each other, and then it depends, you know, you could have been no, third Jay. cousins. No, Jay. Your family's gonna be mixed up all in that. Yeah, yeah well, you gotta gotta sour the pot. Family sour the pot in the first place. They're gonna sour the pot. It's not gonna yeah. work. No. Yo, you know you got that one uncle at the family you ain't talking about. Oh, you sure she related to us? Oh, is she our third cousin, fourth cousin? <laughs> I'm you like, what? Did you do that already? <laughs> Savannah says, <laughs> I dated my cousin once and didn't even know my uncle had a kid outside of marriage. Wow. Oh, no. How did you find out it was your cousin? Right. How did you find this out? Yeah, and and how, how was it too late? Did you already consummate the relationship? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't already consummated that thing. You might have said, you know what? Let's just not let the family know. That's all. Yeah, I'm, done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm good. Uh, I met a guy a, once, and he resembled me, and I was just like, I'm not comfortable because I don't know if there's some attachment <laughs> down there. I was not comfortable at all. He said the uncle told told him, oh. and yes, we did. Oh, <laughs> now did you continue? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did. No, <laughs> yeah, you we, got out. They happily married to this day. No, oh, I'm God. <laughs> Barika says some countries like Lebanon and Syria. Uh, what they do that? He said, "Hell no." Savannah say, "Hell no." So no, nah, yeah, he'll he'll know. <laughs> he'll know. <laughs> That's, That's funny. I mean, hey man, some people be like, "Well, you know what? I care too much about you now. Nah, forget it." No, Jay. No. Maybe that town where they make you test, that's what happens a lot. They just get caught up in their feelings. We caught feelings for each other. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, Joe. Yeah, no, nah, that is a lot, though. I'm just playing. So he, <laughs> he wanted to continue. Oh, man. <laughs> Trinette, oh, you know what I'm no. Come on. Yeah, no, Joe. He was already feeling Savannah. He ain't want to let go. <laughs> You know, y'all hold on to different things than we do. He talking about, I want that old thing back. Ah, I want that old thing back. <laughs> right. Hey, nobody got to know. Uh, <laughs> Damien Kitty. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. Uh, Jerry Lee Lewis married his cousin, young, and had a son. That is true. Jerry Lee Lewis had them great balls on fire. Mm -mm -mm. That movie is actually interesting too. Uh, and I think he's still alive, ain't he? Jerry Lee Lewis. Nobody mm. tried to give him the R. Kelly treatment, but that's a whole nother story. Yes. Uh, but they remember weren't Woody mad. Allen? Who? Remember Woody Allen? Uh, remember, yeah. And it's a documentary, Allen v. Farrell, that's on HBO that's really crazy. Um, I had to check it out. Man, that is something. Big Ron say also there have been people that have been in sexual contact with someone who had HIV. They got tested, but it came up negative. But the person said they still wanted to use condoms. Uh, 
Now, sometimes when you get tested, you may come back negative, but it's dormant in your body. Is that true? Because I've heard that before. Um, Barika say they require blood relation testing prior to their marriage. Uh, uh, she was talking about in Lebanon and other countries. Okay. okay. No, Jerry Lewis was the nutty professor. Jerry Lee Lewis was the singer. Great Balls of Fire. Hmm. All right. Um, so, yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, from what they say, some people, it could be in your blood, but it's dormant, and then it could get activated at a later date. And... Okay. Horrible. That that whole thought is horrible. Uh no, because yeah, you're never like really you safe. Even, like you won't even start exhibiting like symptoms. Like some people don't even exempt like get symptoms. Like they be asymptomatic about it. And like they don't even have a sore throat, they don't have a cold, they don't have a stuffy nose, none of that. Mm -hmm. and, right. and they don't even know because they don't get tested and that's why, you know, right. they, Say I say your status. You know what I'm saying? No, your status. Like I don't. Like, I think you're supposed to go like every three months or every six months get tested. You know, especially if you're really active. Especially if you're really active. That's a fact. Especially if you really active. Right. What, what bothers right. me? Is why someone wouldn't just want to do that? Especially if you're out there. You and your primary care should be best friends. Or what is it? The neighborhood, the neighborhood, um, what you call this thing? Um, clinic. Yeah, the clinic. You know what they they call them now? But yes, the neighborhood. Uh, clinic, urgent right? care, urgent the care. Right, yeah. that emergency care. Right, you you supposed to be? They supposed to know you like chairs. You understand? Like they, if you out there like that, why would you be? That bothers me. Why you would be reckless? You know what I mean? I'm mm -hmm. a germaphobe, Jane. I'm not playing with that. I'm not playing with it at all. I want to be right. good. I want to be real good at all times and perform at my best. And I have to have a clear conscience when that's going to go down. Yeah, I, I like everything you said right there. Right. <laughs> and uh, I agree, though, uh, all jokes aside. But, yeah, man, having a clear conscience and knowing that you could be with that person is a lot better than being with somebody and then you with another person every day and doing other stuff. Now, I think this person that I was talking to going through that was in a relationship for damn near 15 years and now they ain't in that relationship. And so I think that they are trying to experience the freedom they missed when they were younger in that relationship. And now in their forties, they trying to relive what they probably should have been doing in their early twenties. Um, although when they were in that relationship, I'm not gonna say they were the most faithful even then, but they were a lot more faithful and had to hide and do other stuff. Whereas now they could just be free and do things that they weren't able to do before. And so I think that's making it harder on this person now. Um, well, I think it's just fine if you if if that's your situation, but be, be protect yourself and protect the other people too. Right. Because that's how that's just life. Sometimes you get caught up early, and you gotta take care of your business on the back end or the middle end, mm -hmm. the middle. But but at the end of the day, be conscious that you need to protect yourself and other people. Because even if you want to be out there, suppose this chick is having double your count. It's a lot easier for women than men. Whatever man think you getting a lot, if that woman wanted, she can do more. So, yes. <laughs> definitely. Men are uh, dealing with the women's problems in that regard. Yeah, shout but out to, uh, uh, hold that thought one second. Shout out to Victor Scott for coming through with the super chat. Uh, you say, I got something in my eye. You got something in your eye, Joe. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Trine. What was you saying? No, what I was going to say was, is like you got some people that, you know, they just don't want to like get tested because maybe they scared. 
you know, maybe, you know, they don't want to deal with the hard reality that damn man, like, you know, it's really going to hit me. Like, I'm, it's really going to, like, affect me mentally knowing that, okay, I got what I got. But I would rather, like she said, like Kelly said before, like, at least I had that peace of mind of knowing that, okay, I, I, it is what it is. Now I can, you know, move to the next step and try to get some kind of treatment for right. myself. Right. And I mean, I think everybody, when they get them first tests, is probably a little scared unless they know they never did anything with anybody. I mean, you never know until you get really tested. But um, right. I would be more scared to be walking around and not know nothing. And and then next thing you know, you, you laid up, you got something, you know, growing on you and didn't even know it. That's that's even more worrisome to me, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> I need to get that taken care of straight up. Uh, so, you know, especially in the black community, man, we, as men, especially don't go to the doctor as much, you know, men don't go to the doctor like we should. And, uh, it's just a lot of things. If we do go, what we do is tell them everything is fine just so we can get out of there and say we went and, and the doctor is another person. So it's only going to work when you tell them as much as you can you see what i'm saying so women go to the doctor more often than men you know they got a lot of other things to check out so you gotta check (laughs) under the hood but uh yeah but some women don't do that i've even known some women that don't check themselves out and that definitely can be dangerous so i think that's a red flag for let's let's put that on the females right red flags for females if she doesn't go to the doctor, if if that's a red flag. And let me tell you another red flag. You go to a chick's house and you go in the bathroom and you go in her medicine cabinet or whatever and you don't find no summer's eve, no bath still, none of that. It's a problem. She just walk around itching. <laughs> and smelling like a like an onion. Gosh, I'm done. Ooh, like, like, yeah, fillet like of fish an with an onion. An onion, okay. <laughs> that's a that's a southern uh, accent. Now you've been in oh, okay. you've been in Georgia so long today. You sounded like you uh got the Georgian accent over there. I know it's like. I don't know. Off. Sometimes I don't even be realizing it. Like some people, you like you know how people say door. Yeah, I say go. <laughs> No. <laughs> Sounded like Homer Simpson. No. No. Go that dough. God. But I, I say get the dough as well though. <laughs> uh but uh that is funny though. Um but you originally from New Jersey, so that's a that's a hell of a swing. Of course, I would have never guessed. I would have never guessed. <laughs> I know, I ain't gonna lie, I be missing Jersey sometimes because I be wanting a cheesesteak and a mm. pizza and, mm. right. you know, all the things that they're known for, you know, even going on the boardwalk, I miss going out there and looking at the sunrise. No, can't even do that anymore because Georgia don't have a boardwalk, they don't have beaches. Like, they got a fake beach, a okay. man-made beach, but <laughs> it ain't the same. A man, maybe. What about uh, Southern Georgia? Or you ain't checked that out. Yeah, I mean, I went to Savannah, but I really didn't get to get a chance to like really go out to the shore area. You know, like I, I went over in the tourist area and I went on a riverboat and we, you know, rode, you know, out there and had a good time. So, I mean, okay. it's good things. And then the crazy part about Savannah. Like they got uh no uh open container. Meaning like what? you can just water hop and go walk out with the cup full of beer or whatever to walk around and the cops won't mess with you. Wow. Nice. Yeah, you can't do that uh where I'm at or in Chicago. <laughs> I can't don't, do that either. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, not even on the north side of Chicago, you can't walk out the bar with the drink open. You can't even have the drink in your driveway. What? What? Nah, I ain't heard that one. That happened. That happened to me. What? Wow. 
Yes, and they try to come inside like, oh, you were outside with the drink, and I was just like, I'm outside with the drink. <laughs> wow, you had a reaching over a beer. Yeah, oh, that's damn. They don't have no crime. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have no real crime to 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 do to to work on. What the hell? We 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 getting a, a lady with beers. We take them down every day. Nobody gets exactly, a beer on right? my watch. Right. <laughs> The hell? Like he wasn't doing something. Yeah, exactly. well, like, unlike you was belligerent in the middle of the uh, street, right? Carrying on, nope. right? Wow, that's mm -hmm. crazy. That is crazy. Anaya's GMA said the man-made beach in Jonesboro. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, that's going towards um, Stockbridge. Going towards that way. It's a man-made beach over there. They got like a little water park over there. But it's nice, though. I mean, I ain't going to lie. It's nice, but you got to pay. Wait a like, minute. Hold up. Pay? How you going to make me pay to get on the beach? Right. I wasn't expecting that. You got to pay. They got private beaches around. They got, I mean, you know, that they, you, you know, I guess take care of in a different kind of way. I mean, that is sad. Like, how you going to charge somebody something that God made and I'm trying to go out there and enjoy it, but you sitting there like like a freaking troll under the bridge talking about, oh, I got to pay to get on the beach. <laughs> right. You know I mean? Yeah, see, you used to the Jersey. That's how it is in uh, Chicago. We could just go to the beach. It's free. I mean, right. the, yeah. the park district owns it. So the taxpayers pay, you know, for everything. Why are we having to pay individual but one thing they do now that i just couldn't believe is that mm -hmm. they got uh parking meters <laughs> around the beach now so you gotta pay to park now though so how you supposed it to happen before no heck no that's something in the last 10 years that they put in parking meters and uh they, that's crazy they have parking meters at coney island wow but Coney Island been established as like an amusement type thing as well with attractions. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about it ain't nothing but the water, a beach. That's it. There's nothing, nothing there. <laughs> yeah, ain't no Wonder Wheel or Nathan's Hot Dogs. Nothing. Just water and look at it. Pay. Just look at it. Yeah, right? That's it. Nothing else is there. No structures so remember, built. Remember, what was it? I went to Florida. We went to a private beach. This is not like probably was like maybe five, seven dollars, but but that's beach. private though. Yeah. So yeah, there's some private beaches in Chicago too. Um, mm -hmm. So um, I used to go to this private beach of my mom's friend. They uh, condo was on the the shore on the okay. South Shore area, and so the part of the beach that was behind that building was theirs so you okay. could only get on that beach if you were living in that building so okay. yeah that was pretty cool but then it was dirty <laughs> what? That's, that that makes no sense the i know that right private, you're supposed to keep it up i know and looking back on it now i was probably around like 20 the last time i was there maybe and no. I even swam in that water. I would never do that now. I can't believe I swam in that dirty ass water. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I didn't even. I, it well, didn't, I was just talking up to doing vicarious stuff when we younger. I know, right? I, I just swam around the little garbage floating around and all kind of filth. <laughs> I thought I could just swim around it. Oh, man, I wouldn't even get in that. Oh, boy. All right. Savannah says, new beaches. Who would get in the new beach? A new beach is a good idea. Kelly, what's up? Would you I'm go not to going new... to the new beach. I'm not going <laughs> to the new beach. <laughs> what if you went to, uh, you know, uh, the the south of France uh, on vacation with your husband? You ain't going on the new beach? Not going on the new beach. I got like five to ten good hold it together minutes. <laughs> And then I'm going to relax and then stuff is going to fall apart, Jay. No, I'm not going on the new beach. 
Hey, that's the that's the, the real truth of a new beach, though. Is everybody got stuff falling apart? Everybody ain't looking yeah, like a but supermodel. I don't want to be a part of the fall apart crew. That's the point. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of the fall apart crew. Ain't nobody <laughs> trying to be all that. Right. I'm rolling together for like this much, Jay, and then it's, it's a wrap. And then, I, you know, you never really know by the time it's a wrap because you laughing or you maybe eat it and then you forget and then you see like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know what? Like, I would, I would go to a new beach, but like, it would have to be like a private, like, you know, thing. No, nah, like, that's what I'm talking about. Like, wait, 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 wait. What you mean? Like, <laughs> like, 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 what do you mean? It's this like movie I'm trying to remember, yeah. too. Uh, go ahead. I'm trying to remember this movie where it was all the people you would never want to see on a new beach. There was only one pretty girl, and all of them started chasing her around. <laughs> but go I ahead. Mean, what? Yeah, like, it would have to be like a private island or something. <laughs> yeah, wait, not wait, in so your would neighborhood. You be there with other people? Would you be there with other people or just your other person? My other person. Well, that ain't really a new today. beach. Yeah, that ain't really a new beach. You just doing the do with your you just, other person. Right, you, just, you just being nude on that beach. Right. You got to be letting it <laughs> hang um, out in front of like other that, people. Since, since you put it like that, <laughs> nah, I wouldn't do that. Nah. Because, <laughs> no way. No way. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I was younger, maybe. But now I might be looking like Phase I Love up in here, man. I don't know, man. The light Phase I Love up in here. I don't want all that hanging down, man. Yeah, I've been scared to clear the beach. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. You know what? I wouldn't have done it back then either. I mean, when I was younger, I was in real good shape, and uh, I, I didn't. I didn't give a damn. But oh, no, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have done it. I was in real good shape too, Jay, and I would not have I, my my shame call when it came up. I don't. I don't know. I think I'm blushing right now. Thinking, <laughs> <laughs> but see, women, we can already. You already. We already see everything. No, you don't see everything, man. We do. We can. A man can see how big your body is. Can see your boobs. I mean, we already know <laughs> everything. We may not be able to see, you know, the the main part, but. They all look alike until, you know, you get in there. <laughs> yeah, but women, they don't want you seeing they cellulite. They don't want you seeing they cottage cheese and brown cold veins and all that. Well, maybe yeah, like, when you older, I see maybe where you coming from. But when you younger and, and with men, it's different. You may not know they got man titties. You may not know they got only a you know a one inch vertical. You may not know you you can hide a big or a little thigh schwantz, but you know you you can't you can't know all that. A, a schwantz is my nickname for wee wee. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> so I got one story, man. Uh, when I was in college, it was me. And two of my friends and three, like, real cute women. And mm -hmm. uh, we was in Columbus at my friend's uh, mother's uh, condo. And she had a pool. And I don't know what it was, but we were, like, the only ones there was at night. And so everybody mm -hmm. started taking their clothes off and got in the pool. And one, only one of my friends, who didn't look like a big guy or nothing, he just got in with his shirt on and everything. Man, everybody laughed so hard at him and stuff. And he was embarrassed because he had man titties. And uh, he didn't want nobody to see. But, like, you got at the pool with a shirt on while everybody else is naked. What's wrong with you? And then, you know, that messed up the rest of his evening, so to speak. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> You know, or like another time, I used to work in the hot tub, uh, you know, business. And uh, mm -hmm. let's just say, you know, it was a great, great experience. Um, the hot tub business, Jay? The hot tub business, man. My uh, older older brother uh, from another mother told me about it in downtown Chicago. And once I heard, I had to go and find out. And uh, I started becoming the number one customer up in there with uh, with my. You could go with like hourly rates, and uh, I used to go with my girlfriend. And then one time I was going there, and I saw they was hiring. I already had a damn job. 
And uh, I talked to dude. After me talking with him, he hired me on the spot. And I had a second job. I was working there at nights from like 2 to 5 in the morning. I mean, 10 to 5. Hell yeah, yeah boy. You can't tell Woo. me that you was like Deuce Bigelow in your family <laughs> life. <laughs> you Deuce Bigelow. Deuce <laughs> Bigelow. <laughs> right. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't have it that good. I, I wasn't making no money on the side, but uh, <laughs> but it damn that sure was a fun. Bonus, it was definitely some bonus action up in there going on, to say the least, oh, man. <laughs> but you're younger, and you may be more likely to do some things than when you get older, and then you think about it, so... But, uh, and then, you know, we wasn't walking around all day like the naked or something. You in a private room with one other person or whatever, or, okay. or whatever people you in there with. Um, <laughs> but it ain't like a new beach or nothing. But, uh, yeah, it was definitely interesting though, but. That's one but the, of the funny thing I heard about nude beaches too is that you would think that because it's a nude beach, they just got you know like dimes in there, tens and tens and tens. But no, no, I can't but remember the name of that you movie. Have a lot of people that that don't you know that shouldn't be on there, on there. Yeah, they got a lot of uh, dingleberries walking around and and uh, <laughs> little weeny with some tiny nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a lot more embarrassing than uh, a woman that got some cellulite. Like, how they walk around with their head high and then they, you know. <laughs> Ew, I, I, I can't even think about what was going on in your head. M maybe, um, oh, so I heard this guy say that, you know. Some people are growers and not showers. That is true. But you need, right? to, you need to sprout up before you go on that beach. Um, you need to grow before you show. That's that's the rule. You gotta grow before you show. Ain't nothing wrong with being a grower, not a shower. That. But you that just doesn't be inappropriate. That doesn't be inappropriate, Jay. Then either way is inappropriate. You don't walk around with with a little, you know what I'm saying, cocktail weenie. That damn show is inappropriate. Why are you walking around with pride? What's wrong with you? Some of them are late bloomers. <laughs> they need to wear bloomers. That that point, they have no more bloomers. Right. right, Trinae, I'm hearing the echo now. Yeah. Uh oh. But uh, yeah, man, they uh definitely need to get that together because that's crazy. Very that. I mean, I wouldn't want to see another man walk around regardless. Um, first time I ever even was encountered with something like that is when I was going to the gym, to the YMCA in the men's locker room. And it was when I was probably about 10 years old. And okay. my, my mom used to take me to the uh, to the gym and I used to go swimming or whatever and all this. So I had to go to change in the locker room. And I remember going in there, and it ain't nothing but men walking around, butt booty ass naked with the little thing hanging out, talking about, you know, Jesse gonna win, right? Jesse gonna win. <laughs> Jesse gonna win. I still remember they talking about Jesse Jackson gonna win the presidency, with oh butt ass God. naked. Don't talk politics, butt ass naked, man. What's wrong with you? With, with passion and fever, about you it. know what I'm saying? And and I'm, I'm 10 years old. It's all up my height. I'm like, come on, man. I don't want to go swimming no more. I'm going to change before I go to the to the mm -hmm. locker room. Yeah, so, I'm going to go home wet, Mom. I'm going to come home wet. I'm good. Right. You know, that just wasn't it. By the time I was in high school and they was trying to make us do that, uh, you know, after gym, go to the showers, man. Damn near everybody was taking showers with their gym shorts on. With nobody... <laughs> <laughs> we was all wet you know what I'm saying everybody waiting in line to go into the stalls to change and nobody be, doing that be. Yeah. Be. right what the hell this, this, we ain't trying to get that intimate and, and that close as a team we don't need to be a team we ain't this gym class you know, right, we we not a team in the locker room. We not right. a team in the locker room. I came for gym class, not Jim's ass. Okay, I ain't trying to know. <laughs> <laughs> that that's enough. I don't need no extra credit. 
I'm good. Of that, of that. Of that. <laughs> uh, well, hey, man, it was great to have y'all as always. Um, a lot of fun and uh, definitely appreciate everybody for coming through and watching. And uh, I hope everybody, you know, had a little laugh, some fun, learned a little thing or two. And, uh, you know, let's see what, how it go next week. Um, hopefully we can continue to you know, grow this uh, show and uh, continue doing it because it is a lot of fun. I do enjoy talking with you all and, uh, you know, I want to keep doing it. So we'll see. Um, Anaya said, great conversation. So definitely, definitely glad to have you, uh, Kelly and uh, Trine. Yay. Definitely. Yeah, good to have you too. Yeah. We'll be back with next week Tuesday with you, Jay. We'll come back next week Tuesday with you. All right. Sound good. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. I'm happy to hear that. Trene, we gotta get you on, on camera now. Don't yes, be shy. Trene. Trene, you already exposed yourself, right? You said you were gonna be nude on the beach. Right. That means that means that you can show your face at least. Exactly. All right. I just have to make me an appointment with the hairdresser. I can't be having my wig looking all crazy on camera, you know. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Girl. <laughs> Let me tell you, why I was late is because I had to just fix up the front here. The oh. rest of it is like an afro underneath these locks right now. <laughs> like, I need, I need to groom up the front so that I don't come on there looking crazy. Now, you know you look good. You tripping. Y'all be putting more into it than I think you realize men be thinking. You know, everybody is Jay. more self-conscious, I guess. Thank you, Trinity. Yeah. Why you don't never, like, take your hat off? I mean, because this light shine on my head and it be shining. Yeah, you do say that. You see what I'm saying? But I'll take it off, you know. I have my hat off on TV as Rojas. Yeah, no, that's Rojas. That's not Jay. Exactly. Exactly. Shoot, that's millions of people saw that. <laughs> oh, God. I didn't know that was you. That was the whole tip for person. I didn't even know that was you, Jay. Speaking of who it was. Exactly. Oh, he got the mud. See, I even got the mud. I got my hat off on here. <laughs> oh, I like that red, though, Jay. That red is really nice. And I, I'm not even a person who likes red. That red is popping. Yeah, I didn't really like red like that either, but it does pop on here. It does. It did come out yeah, really fine. good. That remind me, I almost forgot. Shout out to Ron. He uh, sent the picture. He just got one. And uh, here go a picture of Ron right here with his mug. And, nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. I got to get my mug. Definitely, man. Uh, it definitely helps nice. everybody, you know. Um, not like I'm making a lot of money or anything, but I just want people to have something, you know? Um, mm -hmm. so definitely appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I do got a matter of fact, I do got some, uh, discount codes in case y'all missed it, um, that I'll put in uh discord, um, so that, you know, everybody can get a deal on some stuff, some free okay. shipping and things. And uh, I'll put the uh, site um, in the comments right there if anybody want to check it out. And uh, feel free to, to check it out and everything. It's a lot of different colors and things, too, for the cup. So, um, you know. So, when the next time you're doing trivia? <clears throat> I mean, we could do it tonight if everybody's still up. Kelly, like, like uh, yeah, right. You know, I like, no, Jay, I, I like that. I, like that. I, I am trying to stay committed and consistent and go into the gym in the mornings now. So, that's what I need to do. I need to, it's always better when you got a workout partner. Yeah. Or you know, you, I'm quite the opposite. You like it I by yourself? I myself and I want to knock it out. That's okay. it. I don't want you to talk to me and then I get all social and then I'm not, you know, I'm not aggressive because I want to make a scene this summer, Jay. <laughs> you going on that beach this summer, huh? 
you, maybe next summer. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> this, summer, this stuff is too soon for all of that. I'm too soon for all of that. But maybe next summer. No hot girl summer this summer. No, no, no hot girl summer this warm, summer. Warm, warm girl. Okay. We getting older, so you know. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I try can't. it at least now. You know, we can say that now. I'll try it. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah, I know, right? I definitely uh, still can't believe uh, how fast time is flying, man. Mm -hmm. Shoot, I look at my son and I be thinking, wow, damn, man, it's, he's getting like to be grown. I'm like, man, I got a grown kid over here. Wow. Absolutely. <laughs> The statement you say you see it with your son, the, I look at my son, I'm like, why? my son is 21 now. I'm like, what? Mm. You big guy. Yep. You getting up there, but you know, we just gotta, we just gotta be careful, remain healthy and responsible, right? So that we could be here for much longer in in a, in a good way. So before before we go, right, I'll tell you about this lady friend I have. She's in her seventies right now. She looks amazing, mm. and. She was telling me the other day, she's like, yo, when I was your age, I was a hot mess. I was embracing being a granny. I was frumpy because in her generation, she's like, by the time you reach 40, girls over 40, you're old. You know right. what I mean? And she's going to the gym. She's more, she's like, my body feels better at 70 than it was at 45. Wow. Wow. Because she's more active now. She's doing more things, you know. You don't, she not, you know, putting her in a drawing, pushing the drawing anymore. You know what I mean? Right, right. Well, back then, and in, in like I said, in her generation, it was like you start relaxing and going down when you pass 40. That's true. Not no more. Not no more. Yeah, people, even in the 80s, people that was in their 40s, they look like they was in their 60s. So, right. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of people oh, now that's different. So yeah. different. So that's what I'm saying, Jay. It's about to be a scene, okay? All right. It's about to be a scene. I'm ready to see <laughs> that scene. That's big talk. <laughs> big talk right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to, like they say, speak it into existence. So. All right, that's what we're doing. That's there what we're doing. There you go. Ain't nothing wrong mm -hmm. with that. All and right. And Trinae, we going to get it together, and we next year, we going to go to that nude beach. Right, Trinae? <laughs> who? <laughs> yeah, who? <laughs> right, you ready now? So you definitely gonna be ready next year. Exactly, Trina. You the one who's like, I'm gonna go. Exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready now. Me, uh, you, Dina, Miss Crafty, we all going. Oh shit! Yeah, this is about to be a damn sight to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah don't, don't forget Mochilla. Uh, right. Yes, Marika. Marika is in there too. We go. We're going to make a scene. You ain't lying. Y'all about to shut the beach down. Down. Official, okay? Official. Damn. Damn. Yeah, I wish a lifeguard would try to run up on me. <laughs> Go try to save you from drowning. You ain't even got no water yet. Hello. Just trying to grab them goodies. It's gonna be a scene. Man, my imagination running wild up in here. <laughs> Miss Crafty then got scared. Look at that. Count me you know, out. Gina say how I get in it. <laughs> How I get in it. Ray, Ray trying to be the director for this scene over here. He trying to get an Academy Award. Gina, you always did it. Gina, you always did it. You <laughs> be Miss Crafty. Janae, we out there. <laughs> Gina and Miss Crafty. I knew Gina and Miss Crafty was about to say something, man. Y'all are funny, man. Miss <laughs> Crafty definitely is shy. We gonna hit her in Discord, right? We, but we come on. We gonna hit her in Discord. We come mm, on. With a giggle. <laughs> How you put me in it? Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. I appreciate y'all for coming. I'll see y'all yeah, right. tomorrow for Snowfall. Um, we gonna see what happens if, if uh, also become 
Tiger Food. And uh, everybody, I appreciate y'all for watching. Let's make this uh, a good good show every Tuesday. I'll see y'all tomorrow at 10. And everybody have a good night. I'll see y'all, rest of y'all in Discord. The rest of y'all members, peace. And I'm out of here. Deuces. The J-Mo, the very best of you. Still a nun can contest me, don't